Welcome to Magic App. We're thrilled to have you join us and discover the power of our platform. Here's an overview of the video content. We will talk about setting up the organization and user accounts, creating a new guideline, adding content, creating an evidence profile and a recommendation and exploring dissemination formats. For this exercise, you can use your own data or you can use the sample data we have provided for you. Once you're ready to start with the free trial, each one of your team members that wants to collaborate needs to create a Magic App account and add a display name. You will designate an organization administrator and then our support team will create the organization account for you. Once the account has been set up, open Magic App and log in. On the home page, have the lead administrator create a new guideline for the team by selecting the new guideline button next to guidelines. Give a title to your guideline and write a short description to say what is it about. Select your organization as the owner of the guideline rather than personal. Now you're ready to create your guideline structure and add some content. There are three tabs, recommendations, evidence, and references. In the Recommendations tab, you can change the section title by clicking it. You can add some sections to your guideline by clicking the Add New Section button on the left side, and you can move sections around by dragging and dropping them. We have added here some additional sections as an example. You can add some text to the sections by clicking the pencil icon on the top left side. Add some references under the References tab. You can do it manually using a PubMed ID or you can upload them from a reference manager such as EndNote. If you're using our sample data, go to the link we have provided for you, download the sample data, select Add Reference, RIS File, select the file, and the references you have imported are now available to cite in your text. You can try that out. To try this out, go to the Recommendations tab, click the pencil icon, and then Add Citation, select the reference, and then you will have the citation in text. In the Evidence tab, navigate to the section where you want to add your evidence profile or summary findings table, and click Add Pico. specify the population, intervention, and comparator. Note that the PICO has multiple tabs, including Evidence Profile and Summary. Click the Evidence Profile tab in the PICO and add a few outcomes using the Add Outcome feature. You must specify whether it's a dichotomous, continuous, or narrative outcome. Use the pencil icon and add data to the outcomes. Explore how Magic App guides you to evaluate the certainty of the evidence following the GREAT methodology. Formulate a plain language summary for each outcome using the suggested text or by writing your own. Write a summary of the evidence under the Summary tab. If you're using sample data, download the PICO sample data file and then in the Evidence tab, click Add PICO using a Magic Zip file. Your imported outcome will have all data prepared. You can add additional outcomes to practice adding your own data. You can also add practical issues under the Practical Issues tab. You can cite the source or sources of your evidence under the References tab. And keep in mind that you may also import evidence tables from RefMan5 file or GDT grade profiles. In the Recommendations tab, go to a section where you want to add a recommendation and click Add Recommendation. In the Research Evidence tab, select the PICOs your recommendation is linked to. You should formulate your recommendation and set its strength and direction.
You may also add remarks to your recommendation from the options menu, for example, about specific population subgroups or important implementation considerations. Under the Evidence to Decision tab, you may choose to have the 4-factor or the 7-factor great ETD framework. You should also provide a rationale or justification for your recommendation under the Rationale tab, as well as practical information under the Practical Info tab. The More Info tab allows you to add remarks about implementation, evaluation, research needs, and adaptation. If you're using sample data, you can fill out each one of the tabs with the content we have provided for you. You can link the PICO to the recommendation, fill the evidence to decision framework, either the 4-factor or the 7-factor, add the rationale, the practical info, the references, You can add a label to your recommendation under Options and set status labels visible to viewers. You can also add a tag to your recommendation under Options and add tags to allow filtering. You can explore now the different dissemination formats with the content you have added. Explore the interactive decision aids that are automatically created for your recommendation based on your PICO. You can edit which outcomes to show for users and modify the names of the outcomes. For recommendations and PICOs, you can use the Links and Widgets feature on their options to create links to the content that can be incorporated in various formats websites, or documents. Under the Settings menu, you may export your guideline in a Word format or a PDF. Note that in the PDF, you can add a custom cover page, and you have a number of customization options. You have now created a guideline recommendation. We invite you to continue exploring all the features and discovering the power of MagicApp.